finishing its 14th season, the Herberger's Lunchtime Theater is always entertaining. This is a tale of the ADA. It's a hot summer day in Phoenix, so why not stay indoors, be cool, and check out the lunchtime theater at the Herberger Theater Center's CAC stage. And it's exactly that, lunch and theater. People pop over during their work lunch hour, or organized groups come by the busload. Julie Rollins is the director. Fourteen years ago, we looked at what was going on here at the Herberger Theater Center. We had many resident companies. Well, we had the Arizona Theater Company and Center Dance Ensemble and Actors Theater of Phoenix and a few more, but we didn't have t room or time for the smaller companies in town. And the Herberger was built, was designed to be a place to give opportunities to all of the small theater companies in town, or at least many of them. The beauty of lunchtime theater is that you can eat your lunch here. You can, we have a caterer, you can call ahead and order your lunch. You can bring your own, or you don't have to eat. The shows are, I ask my companies to bring a show in between 30 and 45 minutes so that you can, if you are a downtown worker, you can leave on your lunch hour, have lunch, watch a wonderful show, and get back in time. It's simple. Lunchtime Theater offers affordable, live, entertaining theater by smaller acting companies. The day we shot this story, the Improbable Theater Company, a nonprofit group dedicated to people with disabilities, performed. The play was called to boldly go where everyone has gone before. It was a multimedia performance, and their entire cast were people with disabilities. It was a touching and moving performance with song, dance, and dialogue. July 26 marks the 25th anniversary of the signing of the American Disabilities Act. And what better way to celebrate than theater? Joining me now is Melissa Ann. Hello, Melissa. Hello. You are part of a performing group talking about the ADA. Tell me about who you're with and what's your inspiration. Thank you. So, uh, Improbable Theater Company is a program of Arizona Bridge to Independent Living. That is the Center for Independent Living in this area of Arizona. And we are a company primarily comprised of performers who have disabilities. So, being that uh, it is the 25th anniversary of the ADA, that of course is the inspiration. But um, we do what is called edutainment. So, we are trying to educate, inform, and also entertain. Well, it's interesting, throughout the, your, your piece, you have clips of news pieces and actual people who have really fought and advocated for this. It's very, very impressive. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, thank you. Well, we felt that it was really important to bring that historical perspective uh, to the production because um, without those people and those players, we would not have the access. In fact, there are several uh, performers in our company who, before the ADA, would not have been able to get into a public theater. So it's really important that we honor and celebrate. Oh, absolutely. And I do understand that you actually did a casting for this as well, correct? We did. We held open auditions. We have 13 in our cast, and uh, we're very delighted with the, the group that we have. So what does it take to get on the schedule? One of the criteria for this program is quality. We try to present quality work. We also try to give a lot of different companies an opportunity. Enjoy this performance through July 23rd. Two different performing groups will wrap up this season on August 20th. All lunchtime shows run Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Doors open at 11 a.m. with performances beginning at 12 o'clock. Tickets are only $6. The Herberger will be launching their upcoming 2015-16 season in September. For more information, go to herbergertheater.org. For Inside Phoenix, I'm Deborah Cedillo-Dugan.